Here's a quick YouTube video to describe a horse with kissing spine and then to show you the surgical technique I prefer to try to resolve that problem. These x-rays <clears throat> are taken up in the withers of the horse and one question I always get is if this type of scenario is normal and most horses have these little growth plates, which are this little line here and here, and then a funky shaped little bone on top of that. And that is all very normal. So when you see that on your horse's x-rays, just know that that's normal. So we start up at the very front of the withers. We x-ray that area, looking particularly at the spacing between each of the dorsal spinous processes, which each of these bones are called the dorsal spinous processes. Very normal um, distance here between these bones, nothing's touching. We go downstream and sequentially just take x-rays all along the horse's back from the withers back to the lumbar area. And again, you can see the spacing is very normal. It's very wide in the withers, as is typical of all horses that are normal. And then um, the spacing gets a little bit narrower as you start going down the back. So we're here coming down off of the withers. Um, the spacing's a little bit narrower here. Go down one more series of films, normal, normal spacing. And then you can see the spacing is starting to markedly decrease. And so this would be an area of impingement or kissing spine. Another one right here as well. And then as we go down another series, you can see that that's impinging, that's impinging, similar there, impinging here, and then down one more series, and you can see this last space is impinging. So this horse has five kissing spine, um, and then beyond that, going back towards the lumbar area, the spacing gets normal again. And so this would be a very classic case of kissing spine. And one thing I want to describe is the surgery that I prefer to do for these, and that is to remove the front edge of this bone at each impinging space. So the, the back bone where the impingement is, I'll remove the front edge of this bone, remove the front edge of this bone, front edge of this bone, etc., until I open all these spaces up, with the goal being to not have any bone in close proximity to the bone in front of it so that there's no chance of those bones rubbing together. The other technique that's been described is a technique where you actually, um, through small stab incisions, cut the ligament in between these bones. And that's okay if you have a bit of spacing and you can actually get an instrument in between the bones to cut that ligament. Um, it is definitely not my preferred technique, however, because it doesn't change the fact that those bones are still rubbing together. And so, even though you cut the ligament, which cuts the nerves that run through the ligament and basically provides analgesia in that area because the nerves are no longer intact and able to sense the bone rubbing together, um, I think it's a less than optimal technique, at least for the horses I work on, and I much prefer the bone reduction surgery where I cut away the front of the bone. So again, <clears throat> pre-op films, and you can see the impingement throughout. I'm gonna show you the post-op films. And this is after I've cut away that bone at each of those impinging spaces. And you can see that I've created quite a large space. Um, at surgery, I can actually fit my index finger in between these bones. And that's the, the rule of thumb I use is to make it wide enough that I can insert my index finger in between those bones. And you'll see, this is what that particular horse that we just showed the impingements on looks like after successful correction. So <clears throat> in my opinion, this is a superior technique. We actually cut away the ligament. We remove the ligament when we remove the bone. There's no way to cut just the bone and leave the ligament. So we're removing bone and ligament at each of these spaces. So we're removing the ligament that has the nerve fibers passing through it, so we're, we're taking care of that issue, and we're biomechanically recreating normal spacing so these horses don't hurt anymore. So that's the bone reduction technique that I prefer to use.